without being controlled. We have some state controls, we have some controls of some other authorities, even on the material mark, or on the property mark. And of course, on spiritual mind also there is some control. Control word or the word sus, the root, verbal root or the root word for the control or for the getting some point, this comes from the word sus. Sus means to be controlled. And that word has two major meanings, two major understandings. We are always being sus means sometimes we are being controlled by the material laws, laws of government. And sometimes, not sometimes, if you desire, you can be controlled by some other laws or spiritual laws. Sus word comes from the word root sus, as I mentioned, to be controlled. And that is that you can be controlled by the force, by the material world. In the material world, we are being forced to obey the material laws. Who would like to obey all those material laws that are being made by this government? People don't like to, but we are being forced. Force means we are being actually asked to do this thing by some weapons, by some sastra. <coughs> and the sastra word comes from root word sas. Or you can desire to be controlled by sastra. That also, sastra word also comes from the word sas. Being controlled. Either you can be controlled by sastra, by force, by weapons, by material laws. Or you can be controlled by sastra. The word is practically very same, sastra and sastra. Spelling is practically literally the same spelling, but in the later word, the A is pronounced a little wider. That's all sastra or sastra. One has to understand that the sastra, the laws of material nature, government makes the laws, time, place, and circumstances, the laws are also different. But these laws are made by the human beings. And as we know, human beings are not free from the defects they are to have understood. Sastra, the laws of Sastra, Manu Samhita, the laws made by the Lord Himself, they are not under the rules of this material world. They are not coming under the imperfections of the material world. The laws of the material world are made by the persons who suffer from some imperfection, who suffer from the basic defects. While the laws of Shastra are made by persons who are fully realized souls and they are free from all those kinds of defects. So they are not under the rules of life there. So whatever the rules they are made, they are perfect and they are true all the time. It is not that Shastra was true long time ago and Shastra is not true today. Shastra is true all the time. It is not it is sometime true, not sometime true, or sometime. The material laws are sometimes true, sometimes they may change, and sometimes they may not be affected. So these laws are there. But since these laws are made by the perfect human beings, especially by the Lord. So Kavirat Dosa mentioned in Chaitanya Chaitanya that since human beings suffer from the four basic defects, there is always some defects in their laws or in their sastras. But the sastra is not defective because Kavirat Dosa mentioned that Brahma Brahma Dhritta Rusha Karna Patava Deva Sarva Isola Kavirat Dosa In the laws, in the words of the Lord, these four defects don't exist. In the human society, these four defects exist and we know it. And there is Brahma making mistakes. Who can say we have not made mistakes? We have only made mistakes. Man is liable to wear. So that is Brahma, Brahma, Hinduism. We can be in Hinduism very often, we are in and we know it. Brahma Puma, Vipta Rapsa, Karna Pata. Vipta Rapsa means imperfect senses, oh, sorry, eating propensity. And Karna Pata means imperfect senses. We have cheating propensity, we have imperfect senses. Our senses are not perfect. We can see far away. We can see many, many things with our naked eyes, with our of some other. We can see far away subjects and we can see even very close, which is our eyelid. We can see our eyelid, which is the closest. 
So you can see very, very close things, you can see very, very far. So senses are important. So when these laws are made by these people who are suffering from all these basic defects, there will be defects on the phone. That's why they are not perfect. And that's why they are always misleading, or that's why they are always defective. So the laws of Shastra, they are free from all these four defects. So they are really perfect laws. Like, at one, some people say that cow is considered to be a mother of human society. Some people. Some people do consider the cow was considered to be mother in the Vedic, Vedic ages. Now no more. What kind of understanding is cow is mother at all the time, whether it was in Vedic time or whether it is this time or whether it is in the future. Cow is considered to be mother of human society all the time. And vast majority of people, as I mentioned, they want to enjoy or they are involved always in meditation, intoxication, gambling, and many, many other. Pravritti Marga, they are just called Pravritti Marga. Pravritti Marga is a Marga, which is a Marga, which is a path of semi gratification. They are always involved in the same gratification also. But Manu Samhita indicates that that is not the real thing. One should be really looking forward for the Nivritti Marga. Pravritti and Nivritti are the opposite to each other. Pravritti Marga is the Marga, as I mentioned, where most of the vast majority of people are involved in Pravritti Marga. And the Nivritti Marga is the Marga where people think that one should give up all those activities and become free from those entering them. Nivritti Marga means something like that, but at the same time one must understand that Pravritti Marga or Pravritti binds us in this material world. Nivritti makes us from this material entering them. So one must understand that Nivritti has also some activity. It's not that people consider when he is Nivritti or when he is retired, he has nothing to do now. That's it, he is finished. Maybe he's enjoying his water money he's getting from wherever. He's enjoying his life with God. But that is not the Nivritti. That doesn't mean a human Nivritti. Nivritti means he's performing those activities which are not going to bind him in this material That is called the Nivritti. Otherwise, the activities are always those. Nivritti means one must be performing some activities which will not bind him. And which activities will not bind him in this material world? Only the activities that are Krishna conscious. Krishna conscious activities are not performed on the material platform. Krishna conscious activities are performed on the transcendental platform, on the spiritual platform. And these activities will not bind you in this material. There are no reactions for the spiritual activities. There are always actions and reactions for the Prabhupada Marga. Any action you do, any activity you do, you are going to get some kind of equal and opposite reaction for that. So in this verse, it is mentioned that Vedas mainly deal with this. Pravritti Marga, most of the time. And Vedas actually are men. Those people who want different kinds of different kinds of rules and regulations are there in Vedas. And most of the Vedas deal with some karma kind of activities, some kind of activities which are fruity activities. So actually Vedas deal with these activities. And when Vedas people find Vedas, Vedas have also clear understanding about that if people are so much in self gratification in order to stop that self gratification. Vedas give them some advice to perform some karma kind activities. Karma kind activities are activities by which a, per, a person performs some austerities or tapasya in the mode of goodness. He can perform that in the mode of goodness. He can perform that in the mode of passion. And he can perform that in the mode of ignorance. He can do it in any. When he performs in the mode of goodness, the Vedas say that you will be achieving, you will achieve some heavenly plans by performing such activities. So he is given some chance, he is given some kind of proof that by inducing, you will get some heavenly benefits. If the person is performing hostilities and tapasya in the mode of rajas, tamo, then, sorry, in raja, rajogun, passion, then he is given in the material world a very wealthy position, a very prestigious position, a very powerful position. He is given that position by performing that. So there is also some attraction in that. And of course, perform also in the mode of ignorance, he gets down in a very, 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 very material platform. So these are some of these attractions given by Vedas. And then finally, Vedas also take you to some other point slowly and slowly. Because in all those Vedic, and in all those karma and activities, Vishnu remains to be worshipped all the time. Vishnu is a prime person of the personality in all those karma and activities. And at least, person is coming to know that Lord Vishnu is the person who is worshipped along with this everything. For my fruity result, for my whatever I am getting, 
Vishnu is supposed to be the primary person who is getting all the benefits or who is the only person that has to be worshipped. So at least he comes to the understanding that Vishnu is the main person. That is, he is getting the knowledge now. When he is no more totally insane because he has no knowledge of Vishnu, he does not know about Vishnu. But when he comes to understand about this karma kind of activities, maybe in the mode of goodness, maybe in the mode of person, then I think he will come to understanding that Vishnu is the primary person who will worship all this karma kind of activities. So at least he is out of now Vishnu's position. And when he comes to understand the Vishnu's position, then he will be ready to inquire something more and more about now Vishnu's position. And then he will come to a platform, the real understanding that he, he, will, he, will, he will be given that this is not the goal for your mercy and life. The goal is Vishnu. Not that we do fast Vishnu, but then Vishnu is our real goal for the life and not everything else. So he will come to that understanding. By that understanding, he will realize that the Pravritti Marga is not a Marga. I should be involved, but I should be involved in the Vritti Marga. And as I mentioned, Nivritti is totally opposite of Pravritti, so one must come to understanding that I must perform those activities which are not going to bind me in this material. As I mentioned, Shastra and Shastra are the two words which are used in this world. And Shastra and Shastra, there is a very nice discussion between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Kazi in this, in this meetings of Shastra and Shastra. And Kazi was arguing with him, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Kazi was putting some arguments in front of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, asking him that your Veda is also allowed to kill the cows. He mentioned. His title is very after all, he said that Veda there was also injections to kill the cow. So it anymore said that this is Sastric injunction. And for Sastric injunction he is giving the explanation. The cow is supposed, the is of the sages used to kill the cow. Not for the purpose of eating, not for the purpose of selling gratification, but they used to kill old cows to rejuvenate them to a new life. And that was beneficial to the cow, and that was not the purpose of selling gratification. That was the purpose of uplifting the old cow, or rejuvenating the old cow from this old life to a new life. And that was, so that was next, but that is also an experimental purpose. It's not that this only always to kill old cows and there is death. No, it was for experimental purpose of their the sloka, the experimental purpose of their understanding that can we do something like this? And they used to do perfectly. But nowadays it is being done today. Now the Brahmins have no understanding of this village rule. They have no ability to recite those kind of verses. They have no understanding of any of those things. So they cannot perform this kind of work. That's why in Kali Yuga, five things are prohibited. And one of them is, of course, killing cow or offering sacrifice. There are five things that are prohibited in Kali but one of them is, is cow killing is definitely prohibited. So cow is considered, cow is, I say that, that it was considered to be at one time not mother, but spirit mother all the time. Cow is considered a human society, cow is very useful animal, and that's why it is considered to be not only mother, but it is worshipped also, worshipped, most worshipped by Krishna. Krishna likes it, it is worshipped animal. So one has to understand that cow is all the time there, worshipped, and cow killing is definitely prohibited. So Kazi was arguing on that basis, this is point, and Satan Mahaprabhu, that it was only for experimental purpose, it was not the purpose. Now, in, 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 in this Today and today, if people are so much addicted to meat eating, they are allowed to eat meat. Provided there are some conditions. Condition is that, that he has, of course, the cow killing is not there at all. There is no question of maintaining the gross control houses for killing cows. No. But if person is so much addicted to the meat eating, then he is allowed to kill goat, offer it to Mother Kali and eat. But even for that, he should not purchase it from the market, he should not be purchasing from the main place, local houses, and he should not be doing that thing. That is not allowed in this scripture. Yes, if he is too much addicted to eat meat, then he is allowed to eat goat. And that also should be offered. Of course, there are some restrictions how to offer or how to sacrifice their goat to Mother Kali. But you can do that, and that was allowed in Sastra. So Sastras are not that they are whimsical and just they, they understand there are different kinds of people. And they need all of them. There are people involved in drinking, there are people involved in meeting, there are people involved in gambling, there are people involved in illicit cycles, there are involved in many, 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 many abominable activities. But ultimately, the purpose of all those activities is to get out of those activities, to give them understanding that this is the are the activity, they are not going to help you to get out from this human material and things like that. But these are the activities that are going to bind you in the material world, and you are going to get stuck in this material world. Material world is a place of birth, and death. 
Sri Rakhabupada Ki Jai.